Hey, I take pictures mostly for artistic reasons. I shoot black and white, I use film cameras, I do, you know, traditional prints. Because I feel that that's how I can express myself. My pictures don't have utility other than just being my pictures. Now some pictures of course are different and they have a utility like you have pictures for advertisements, they try to sell something, wedding pictures, you might have a user guide and they have different concerns. I mean a wedding picture probably doesn't want to be a minimalistic picture or or user guy couldn't use an abstract fine art to illustrate how to use a thingy. So different concerns for different pictures. Now um, I took some tourist pictures the other week. Uh, as you know I went to Mexico and now I finally got my color pictures developed or I developed them myself. Um, and they are not fine art, they are tourist pictures so they should be just uh, they should be judged based on are they any good at doing that? They are not fine art. I thought I'm gonna talk about a little bit about my tourist pictures today. Now this time I took my tourist pictures with this. This is a Lomo LCA 120 and this is probably one of the best tourist cameras that I know. For the reason that um, it's pretty light, uh, it covers itself nicely, it has a lens cover inbuilt. Uh, it has a nice lens, it's a wide angle lens, same aspect ratio that I would have in my Hasselblad super wide, 38 millimeter. Um, it's reasonably sharp, it has vignetting and all that, but it only makes good for my pictures. It's fairly simple, uh, the distance is just a four step kind of system here. You set an ASA and it kind of randomly selects an aperture and speed. Now that is something that I don't really like. I don't like automatic cameras, but for this purpose as a holiday, as a vacation camera, it is perfect. These are also, I mean they are not cheap, but they are reasonably priced compared to some other medium format cameras and these are new, so they typically function. Very good camera, very nice camera. As a film I shot Portra 160. Now Portra family has different Portras, 160, 400 and 800. I like this the most. Um, 400 is too Portra for me, it's too sort of um, yellow, it's too sweet and 800 is then a little bit more rough. So this is my favorite. And since I shot most of the pictures outdoors, this was a perfect ASA also. And then I developed the film myself. Let me show you how that happens. Actually, if you shoot color film, you should also develop the film yourself because it's no different than developing or no more difficult than developing black and white. These are two of my favorite kits. A Tetnal. C41 or Cinestil CS41. I don't know what really is the difference. They seem to give about the same amount of pictures and they are about the same price. Um, you know, what you get here is that you get little bottles, six of them, and then out of these bottles and some distilled water, you create the final mix and you store the mix in, you know, in one liter bottles, final, final mixes in these bottles. By the way, such a plastic bottle is very good because you can squeeze out extra air. Uh, this ready-made liquid lasts for two or three months if you squeeze out all the air. If you leave the air in, they go bad pretty fast. So I have now ready-made liquid here and with one set of these you can you can easily make like 15, 16 rolls of film. That's my experience. You got three bottles. Eventually for the ready-made liquid you got a developer. You got developer 
then you got a combined bleach and fix. Uh, you know, in some sets they might be separately, but typically they are together. And then you got optional stabilizer, stabilizer, stabilizer that you can use or not use. I mean, modern films have that sta stabilizing part in themselves, so you don't necessarily need them, but if you choose to use it, that's okay. It also um, helps your film to try without spots and all that, so that's good. Now, the trick with color development is that unlike in um, black and white development, you better watch out the temperature. And the temperature needs to be within half degrees. Um, you know, half up, half down doesn't, you know, harm your film, but if you go further than that, then, then you have a problem. Now, how I, how I do that then, how do I keep the liquid uh, in the right temperature? I have a bucket like this. And I put it sort of mid part water. I fill it up with water about the right temperature, a little bit of bow. This, uh, this tetanol, for example, I develop all my films in 30 degrees centigrade. And then, so I, I put here water that is about 32 or so. And I leave these bottles here for an hour or two. So they sort of uh, end up in the same temperature. And then I, this is a pro tip, I purchased a fish tank heater. And these are dirt cheap, like 10 dollars, 10 euros. Uh, they go all the way up to 32, 35 degrees. This one goes to 35 degrees. So I can set it, set it for 30 degrees and I leave it inside of here. So it keeps the liquid, you know, in 30 degrees and all my developers. Also then when I develop, you know, this is the film tank, I keep that during the development in the same liquid. So that's how I stabilize all the temperature and you know this is a cheap, uh, very functional way to keep the temperature right because that's really the only thing you need to be more precise in color development than you are, need to be in black and white. Everything else is about the same. Yeah. So Lomo, Portra 60, home developed. Uh, let me show you the pictures. Okay, so as you hopefully saw, even though these are just my tourist pictures, I took those pictures also pretty seriously and tried to compose them nicely and, you know, put some effort into them. I can't help myself. You know, there was a, back in the days I would come back from a trip like this with my digital camera and 2000 pictures. And I thought that if I just shoot a lot, I get better memories and better pictures and I then uploaded them to the corner of my hard drive and never even looked at them so they are still there. I don't think there is a substitute like the quantity won't fix the quality. I don't know how to say that. Like uh, this was so refreshing to have only 24 pictures and they all seem so much more valuable than any of those 2000 pictures. 
not only because they are on the physical for physical media medium but they are also I I paid attention you know I, I took them seriously so yeah tourist pictures um, hmm. uh, I should probably say something wise for the end of this video but I really have nothing to say it was a nice trip see you later